Brighton, why are you crying? <laughs> why you cry? Okay. For killing Titan. Uh, Appreciate it, Jake. Uh, <laughs> she gave up on me? She has a heart. What else? <clears throat> oh man, guys. Titan, how are you today? I see you're jumping in some Deb by Daylight. Some Debbie. I'm a stalker like that. <laughs> Uh, oh goodness you woke up like an hour ago same actually that's why I'm running a little late <clears throat> and then I had to pay a parking ticket I forgot about that Fallen Wyvern God it wasn't me it was Fallen Wyvern but I had to pay it because I'm in charge of money <laughs> boop 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 alright let's get over to the gameplay and get the Dragon Age started Oh, excuse me. You streaming at all today, Titan? Or are you just chilling? Chilling and debbying. <clears throat> My god, every time I'm about to click Dragon Age, there we go. <laughs> the game takes over. <clears throat> Cannot wait to get to the newer games. That is a good question indeed. Later tonight, that makes sense. I don't have something to watch while I work. Woo! <coughs> I've been jonesing for some Dead by Daylight. Oh my god. I've been so busy all weekend and I was streaming other things and the whole time I'm like, I'm loving this game, but I want to play Dead by Daylight. There's a reason why they call them Fallen Wyvern and not Parquet Wyvern. <laughs> Uh, it was just a matter of our parking changed because alternating sides of the street and he didn't realize it because normally you can tell because people have parked but the street was empty and he was used to parking on the other side and he had just didn't look at the signs just parked and then came inside and the next day went out and there was a parking ticket and I was like <sighs> it happens from time to time uh, at least he's not speeding with him well, we got a creeping wyvern from him last night. Titan all of a sudden you're like, oh no, I put the post that clip in my Discord. I had no idea he was there, and I was so confused. I went back and looked at the clip. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Suddenly everyone's like, did anyone else notice that creeping wyvern? And I'm thinking it's in the game. And I'm like, what am I missing? What's going on? And then I'm like, wait, was he behind me? And then he's not there, so he's already gone. And I'm like, oh my god. It's a good thing it was, you know, my husband and not a murderer. <laughs> you tried so hard, but unfortunately there is a stream delay. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's an all-around Canada thing or just our area. And it's only like, it's not every month, but it's like April to November, I think. Basically, anytime there's not snow. Yeah, like you said, or if it were a horror movie, you would have already been gotten. Or did I do really badly back there? Oh, Alistair. I forgot we're going to start in our tidy whities <clears throat> how, do, how do I? How do I? There we go. <laughs> they put a rogue in jail and thought they would stay there. Let's see if I can get laughs in rogue. Ah, emotional damage will do. Emotional damage. I forgot this happens, yeah. I have the option to either... I believe you can either wait for your team to save you, in which case you play the team members saving them. <gasps> I'm not frozen, I'm excited. <laughs> the alerts aren't catching up quite yet, I just gotta follow. From a really cool lady. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Miss McButter Pants. There you are. Man, I love this emote explosion wall. <laughs> yeah, I looked up and saw how frozen my face looked. I love this emote explo explosion wall, but it makes 
the alerts go so slow. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Oh my god, thank you so much for stopping by. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Hi. I'm so excited. I was so excited I froze. You almost broke Commander Jupe. Uh, it's an emote wall I have. I'll show you it later when we go over stuff. But, like, it's uh, in stream elements, I believe. I'll have to look over my setup again before I talk to you about stuff. But, yeah, it was uh, just a, a thing. <laughs> like an emote wall that I put in as a browser source. <laughs> no, no breaking you. Lurking at work, so just saying hi. Oh, lurking at work is my go-to move at work. <laughs> what I do the whole time. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so excited you're here. And hopefully work is not terrible. Hopefully work is even good, not just not terrible. You know, hoping for a lot here, but... Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I don't know if I've ever, like, uh, been so shocked by a follow in my life. Not that I'm shocked, but, like, excited. <laughs> it's like, I know them! <laughs> oh, good times. It's like Elf on Santa. They're sit whatever. I'm still waking up. <laughs> work is work, would rather be home gaming. That's also a mood. <clears throat> oh, shoot, I have no, bill no weapons. Let's have at it! <sighs> Do this through. Yes. Give me all your shit. All right. What was the point of that? Oh, I see donuts playing Dead by Daylight. Apparently, I can't use this mace. I'll give it to Alistair. For now. <coughs> huh. Okay, so I'm really surprised that they didn't already take his stuff away since it's all King Merrick's. <laughs> this jail needs to get on top of their shit. There's nothing in here. There's another cell, I guess. It's a corner cell. With a great view of the torture chamber. Alright. I guess we're going this way. <clears throat> Time to fight our way out. Nobody wanted to deal with the paperwork of checking in King Merrick's armor. That's fair, honestly. I can't say I blame them. <coughs> I mean, seriously, can you even imagine the paperwork? Yeah, that'd be pretty intense. Oh, hello, random Abari. There's just the two of us. I'm coating my blades with shit. Alright, Thursday's name are you? Hey! Not bad! We're gonna stay as a party. Let's do this quick! Oh, Shall we? We're focused because we don't have the whole group with us and we don't have wind to keep us alive. <coughs> I don't like when those gamings we kill dogs and animals. Can I give him a Mabari crunch bar and walk away? Like, goddamn. <clears throat> I gotta bounce. Just wanted to swing by and say hi. I'll get around to watching a full stream one of these days. Talk to you later. Bye! Thank you so much for stopping by. It means a lot. <gasps> Follow a burn! <clears throat> people everywhere. 
this is dead end, so I'll go here. Maybe I can steal stuff. Ooh, more fire arrows. Put on the uniforms. Huh. How's your work going, Fallen Wyvern? I see you're playing Debbie. I already have the uniforms on. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Such time I'm allowed. I know you're allowed. And already this armor doesn't fit. Better lay up a new supply. Come back here later. Waiting is all the other ways. Yeah, you deserve a Debbie break. down every day keep it in my pocket I got stuck on the second floor hallway for three hours last week I swear those guards are possessed by demons or something don't say that too loudly in this world you people murdered I think it's a door I can't open okay neat don't mind me, Castle Guard. I'm just a guard rummaging through all her stuff and taking shit. Ooh, money. <coughs> all right. What's this? Ah, you must be the new recruits we were expecting. I don't think I've ever done You're this. You're late. The rest of your patrol is in the storage room. Find them and get yourselves ready for inspection. Like, I don't think I've ever dressed up as a guard to escape. I think I just murder everybody on my way out. It's kind of exciting. I feel like I should be drawing more attention as a dwarf. What's the password? Rosebud. That's kind of fruity for a password, don't you think? Lighted green recruits. Nobody gets through without it. What's the password? Oh, that's just being silly. Lighted green <laughs> recruits. Nobody gets through without it. We had a slight weapons malfunction, but everything's fine now. We're fine. How are you? <laughs> Can go talk to those guys and find out the password? I want to see if I can do this without murdering everybody. <coughs> oh, I can talk to them. Did you need something? I was told we should get ready for inspection. Thank the maker! What are we going to do about him, though? <sighs> Is there some problem? So the assistant quartermaster is a little miffed with us at present. I told you we should have put those potatoes in the cellar straight away. Some things went amiss. Mistakes were made. The quartermaster got chewed out by Tern Logang, and then he chewed out the assistant. And now to get back at us for landing him in trouble, the assistant quartermaster won't give us our blades. And you can't pass inspection without a regulation sword. Oh, God. Great, what do we do? He's got no beef with you. Maybe you could talk to him. <laughs> He's down the hall in the armory. Maker, help us. 
I said fine, I'll handle them. <coughs> Is this the armory? What's this? You two blighted fools make a new friend? Orders to uh, persuade. It might at that. Regulation swords, right? Take these, Hybrid just mind you take care of them. That's good steel. <coughs> Yay, now let's go. He they can give the password. What's the password? Blighted green recruits. Nobody gets through without it. Oh. Maker, I can't believe we're actually going to go on patrol. We could fight bandits or darkspawn. What, you mean you didn't join the army to mine the storeroom? I'm shocked. Maker, I can't believe we're actually going to go on patrol. We could fight bandits or darkspawn. What's the password? Did you forget, or are you just daft? Or dark spawn bandits. Blighted green recruits. I guess I have Nobody to fight Nobody gets through without it. <laughs> what you mean you didn't join the army to mine the storeroom? All right, um, let's attack. What's the password? Oh, great. Oh, on, on the road. Lunch too. Let's do this quick, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> 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 I have our conversation anyway. Luke, we're gonna have company. <laughs> Your order. of passwords that's helpful now guard why didn't you give that to me earlier <sighs> whatever this is fine it's fine we're all fine here what in the name of Andraste's sanctified girdle is going on here Hey, we've got a prisoner. Uh, uh, all right, that's it. Uh, Let's make this quick. Uh, oh, look, uh, who wants to fight? Uh, 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 Tougher than I'm used to people being. Oh, 
Oh god. Alistair, no! Stop <coughs> fighting everybody! Right then! Going! Ah! Hey! Watch it! Ha! Lady Andraste, bride of... Mate! Oh, I just wanted to talk to her. Oh! I have... Why Morgan and Liliana? <laughs> to save us, we're under attack! You're Does it go based on who likes you the most? Is that all you've got? I'm very upset by these choices. Not enough. Let's make this quick. Okay, you're two of these favorite people in the party. They came to save you. Oh, okay. I'm almost disappointed we didn't get to try our plan. Oh well. I'm gonna level these people up. <laughs> 27 attributes, okay.
Alrighty then, let's do a proper, nope, let's do a proper save. Watch that face for Titan. It's my back face. Fair enough. Hydrate, thank you. to steal. Nice, nice. Yes. Uh, I assume I want to go to Earl of Red Coast Estate. Probably should have looked at my journal before I left. <laughs> Just to make sure there was anything else missing. But whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> I don't know how the game froze. Well, okay. that. Yeah, much people to talk to at the lands meet. I don't know if we're gonna make it this time, but I think I think we might beat it next game on Wednesday. We have to move on to Dragon Age this is too. a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Is there something we can do to cure you? Cure me? What? Am I sick now? Yes. <laughs> You're a little dead? Even you know that you cannot cure the dead. And I'm do not I? the only one dying. You are too. <laughs> I'm just more efficient about it. Ah, child. Your concern is heartwarming. But death comes to everyone. And it is not something to fear. I'd rather be alive, really. People fear not death, but having life taken from them. Many waste the life given to them, <laughs> hey, Jay. occupying themselves with things that do not matter. When the end comes, they say they did not have time enough to spend with loved ones, to fulfill dreams, to go on adventures they only <sighs> talked about. But why should you fear death if you are happy with the life you have led? If you can look back on everything and say, Yes, I am content. It is enough. One moment. Time to reflect on death. Exactly. You got me just the right time. <clears throat> ah, it's a Andromeda. Took me a second to realize what you're playing. <clears throat> Say, are you content? I think I've led a good life, a full life, and I, for one, am not afraid of death, whatever it may bring. They say that when you die, your spirit travels through the fade and returns to the Maker. It must be a highlight for ages ago. And after that, we'll see, won't we? I'm still undecided if I want to eventually play Andromeda on stream. 
because I liked it. So many visitors, so many You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bed bugs had fleas. Your wish? Mm. I want to discuss something personal. I think it'll be a bunch of nothing. Have you played the other Outer Worlds? No, it is on my list. I've bought it since watching you play it. It's also one that I watch Fallen and play a little bit of, but. I didn't get a chance to really get into him watching it because usually he was watching it when I was doing things. So, or he was playing it while I was doing things. <clears throat> it's on my list. <laughs> I just have so many. I think next the next big one I'm gonna do is Horizon Zero Dawn because I want to be able to watch people play it without being spoiled. So, Cause there's a bunch of people I adore who were playing it and I didn't, you know. I want to watch them play it. I want to be there for their streams, but I don't want to get spoiled. So, you know, I like it better than Andromeda because it's not as long. I'm assuming also not as many problems to start. <laughs> so I liked Andromeda, but it definitely had a lot of issues before they patched it and fixed it and stuff. <coughs> um, it also never feels quite as right as original Mass Effect. Yes, I played Ezra Dong. I think I might stream it before I play Forbidden West. Yes, okay, that'd be awesome. I really need to get on that so that I can watch you stream it <laughs> as well. And I think Huntress was streaming it, and I was like, I can't watch it. And like five other people that I've really wanted to jump on their streams to like watching them stream were playing it. I can't remember all everybody. But uh, yeah, and I was like, I don't want to get spoiled on this game I've been waiting to play since it was only available on PlayStation <laughs> like years and years ago. So. Yeah. I avoid even lurks. Because I got a huge mother once. I lurked on a game I didn't care about. And then the streamer switched midstream to Life is Strange. I didn't know they did. And I picked up my headphones, got back to my desk, and I got spoiled on the very end. <laughs> well, the very, very end. But, like, the pretty much end. And I was just like... <laughs> so I don't even lurk. If there's a chance, I might pick it up and get spoiled. <clears throat> Though actually, forbid um, Horizon, I wouldn't care as much about. I wasn't wouldn't be as emotionally invested. Oh, it sucked, Wodos. I was so sad. <clears throat> it was because I didn't have their thing up, right? Because if I had their thing up, I would have seen right away it was Life Strange, minimized it before I saw anything. But I picked up my headphones, the screen was minimized, my headphones I could hear the yelling and the stuff, and I recognized the voice immediately, and I went, oh no, they switched games, and I tried to find it to close it, and then as I opened it, it came up to the, and I was, yeah, it was a mess. So I avoid, I avoid that whenever possible now. <laughs> when I lurk, I mute the site, just in case. <clears throat> just in case. That way I don't have something like that happen again. So I assume if I say care to answer some questions, he's just gonna be like or discuss something personal, he's just gonna be like, Meh. Again? I'm game. Eh, fine. Whatever. It's stupid. I hate when relationships and games just happen and then they're done and you never talk about it again. Oh no, I got spoiled a little on Friends Zero Dawn by watching the beginning of Friend West and they were doing some kind of recap. Yeah, I hate when you don't know what's coming. So whenever people hop into my streams, especially <laughs> in the last episode of uh, Life is Strange, people kept hopping in, and I'm like, if you need to go because you don't want to get spoiled, I will not be offended. You may leave. <laughs> you will not offend me. Spoilers bad. I get it. Make us breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. We have been praying for your safe return, Warden. Uh-huh. Uh, it's good to see you're all right, Anora. I was uncertain you would respond as you did, considering the consequences. I am glad you did. Thank you. Now, however, we must work together. And quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, 
Yet even now, I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Never finished, tell me why. I'm not sure why or how close I was to end. It's not very long, so you're probably pretty close. <laughs> this is only three episodes. Um, I don't know what I'm doing for that. I was going to try and start Resident Evil 8 this week, uh, because Fall of is going to play it while I watch. But, <clears throat> because then we'd have to have two weeks off from it, and then I might have to take a couple weeks off from streaming in June, because my friend's coming down. I think we might hold off till after that to start Resident Evil 8, so I might finish Tell Me Why over the next three weeks, and then just do silly community games or something until then. I got I forgot, I haven't had a chance to sit down and look at a calendar yet <coughs> to figure out what we're doing on that one, so <coughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, can he still take the throne without you? Perhaps. It will be more difficult for him, but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake Howe is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the Landsmeet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Honora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the land's meet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. Uh, and what of Alistair? I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? <coughs> Caelan, I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close, all the same. Why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Planning to depose her? Anora was a capable administrator for Kalen's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. That's stupid. Alistair doesn't know the first thing about being king. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. 
He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate, and how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid, should that training fail him. He will be fine. Why is it so important to put Merrick's son on the throne? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. Maybe Alistair should marry Anora. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. Yeah, that would player. certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the Landsmeet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Anora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately... The marriage would never happen, unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. We certainly have a great deal to play. <clears throat> what do you think he's doing in the alienage? Alienage. alienage. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. I've got work of to do. Of course, you. if I might make a suggestion. Go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. So one thing I've never done is had her be queen, and I'm kind of curious about it. Look wild with this one. Hey, casual! Which I think I might have had her be queen the first time. At the end. But I didn't choose her to be queen. <laughs> so curious to see how that happens. I never took that game further into the later games either, so. <clears throat> well, hi, Riordan. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. Did you know Duncan very well? We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only where he ever let himself down. What are your plans now? When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. So you're going alone? Shouldn't I go with you? If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't think we can deprive all the armies you've gathered of a commander. Okay, I don't really care about any more about Grey Wardens right now. Good luck to you, then. We will have to talk again when the lands meet is more settled. Alistair. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. Never mind. There's nothing new there.
Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Why should I support you? For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Caelan's queen. As much as they loved Caelan, all of the Banon knew this to be so. Caelan was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. I need your support, Warden, and you will need mine. Are you proposing an alliance? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. happens to Logan if you're a queen. He is my father, as well as a great general, who has served his nation well until now. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. Mm. We'll say justice must be done, don't you think? I will always be my father's daughter, but even I know he must pay for his crimes. It will not make me glad, even so. Does that affect your decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? All right, fine. I'll do it. That is good to hear. So, we have a deal, <sighs> Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. My father? That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Good. Then I wish you luck, Warden. Bye. I have nothing I can steal from you. Okay, bye. I guess it wouldn't be stealing from her, it'd be stealing from Eamon. But still. Finally, I get to get in the alienage. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> I always remember the alienage being way more important at the beginning because I, uh, my first playthrough, I played an elf from the alienage. <laughs> We're each gonna be duelist assassins because we teach each other our trades. Should probably, uh,
Maybe I'll sell a bunch of junk. Go <coughs> sell him my junk. Welcome, friends. Welcome to Wade's Emporium. We have the finest armors in Denerum, maybe in all of Ferelden. How may we assist you? Maybe. Let's see what you have for sale. Certainly. Hi, Mini Hi. Jeep. What are you doing? Um, what? I just wanted to say hi. 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 Yes. Yes. And crash your stream like I always do. <laughs> What'd you say? And crash your stream like I always do. Crash in my stream. Yeah. Like a Mini Jeep do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Ah. It's a diminutive jupe. Oh, Welcome there. back. You looking for fine armor? Can I have some chips? I just saw that, Angie. Uh, you know I would send you chips <laughs> if I had any way to do it. Certainly. I've done it before. Yeah, I was gonna say, you have sent me chips. I sure have. Oh. All kinds of other amazing snackos. And I'll do it again one day. <clears throat> I was expecting it to look better, but whatever. Nice. I'm really excited. Because this weekend... So, my work often does events and stuff, but because of COVID, they're still not doing the events. But to make up the staff association, to make up for the events, so nice to be in civilization. the lack of events or whatever, have been doing a lot of things as like a pickup sort of dealio. So like, instead of a kid's Christmas party, they just get the kid's gifts or whatever and then you drive by and pick it up instead of going to an event for it. So normally they do like wine tastings, like wine tours and stuff during the summer or like some sort of bar crawl, something fun like that where we all get to do food and, and drinks and stuff. But because they still aren't doing full events, this year they're doing a basket. 
So this weekend I get to drive by my work and pick up a basket of wine and charcuterie board. <laughs> and I thought of you immediately. And I was so excited. <laughs> and I was like, man, I wish I could share this with Angie. Stupid distance. <sighs> right? Here's the other edge. And I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> That would be the best. Ah! Alien edge. We are grateful. The compact is renewed. I just realized I gotta check the time that is when I go into work today. Because... It's probably gonna get in the way of my D&D. I think it was from 2 to 5, so I should be okay. D&D is usually 11 till 2. We have a local winery that is having a charcuterie festival next month. I'm hoping to be able to attend before I get my stomach chopped out. Oh god, yeah. Do that first. Because you're not going to be able to eat that much charcuterie after that. I've never been in an alienage. Life must be hard here. Money? You think you can buy us? You think we're so far beneath you we'll just take whatever you give us? I think we better explain things to him. Hey, that was Mark Mir. Someone's oh. <clears throat> I can recognize the stupid jellyfish. If you do do that festival, I want pictures of all the charcuterie. That's my demand. <laughs> so it'll be like I was there. Are you alright? I'm fine. Please don't talk to me. You'll only attract their notice. You big stupid jellyfish. But there will be pictures, lol. Ah, Wodos. I knew I could depend on you. Spare a silver for a war veteran? I'm gonna give you a sovereign, sir. Hope this will get you up the street. Oh, Andraste, bless you, sir. Or Rob. I won't I forget know. your face. No, I won't. Oh, why, game? I hate you. I'm drowning in points. I've got to spend them on something. Yes. I will make the next community goal soon. Since I don't think I'll ever be able to it's continue you. Amnesia. Come in. I didn't thank you before, did I? I? I wish I could give you something. Everything I owned was lost to looters after the purge. Not that I had anything valuable to begin with. We'll see. Maybe I'll get follow over and play it for me and I'll react to it. It's too scary for me to do. <laughs> I figured my next community goal would be me doing Phasmophobia in VR. <laughs> Since follow over's got a VR headset I can steal. But I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm probably just gonna have it not include my face at all and or unless you really want to see me looking like a doofus with the headset on it could be funny I don't know <laughs> uh, can you tell me what's going on here we don't want to give you a heart attack jupe it's a plague so they say <laughs> I've seen a few sick people since I've been back but I don't know how bad it really is but I like to play there are mages from Deventer here helping to treat it there's something odd going on, though. My cousin Shiani could tell you more. <laughs> you can't miss her. Just look for the angriest woman in the alienage. Uh, I can't think of any other ideas right now for another community goal. Like, maybe silly games I could play instead, just for a break? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um... Why hasn't the alienage been closed off? Between the Civil War and Ostagar, the city doesn't have enough soldiers left to seal the alienage. And only elves and refugees have gotten sick. I'm sure that if anyone important gets the plague, the alienage will burn. I guess the plague's been pretty bad. I've seen a few sick people myself, but by the time I got here, it seemed to be under control. There are mages from Deventer here helping to treat it. But there's something odd going on, though. My cousin Shiani could tell you more. 
You can't miss her. Just look for the angriest woman in the alienage. All right, bye. <laughs> I I should know go. you've already done a lot for me, but I have to ask. Could you talk to Shiani? Please. I, I don't know what's going on here, but I know she's in over her head. I'll see what I can do. Really? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Make her bless you. Ollie. Oh, it's good to see you again, friend. You were so generous to me before, and these are other veterans. I'm an orphan. Oh, and uh, uh, an orphan. Please, my lady, can you spare some coin? Are you really a veteran? I am insulted. A veteran campaigner, am I? And Oli is as bereft of parents as anyone's ever been. My mom is especially dead. <laughs> no need to mention that, Oli. Will you help us? <laughs> no, I'll give him 30 silver, but that's it. Thank you, sir. You are too good to us. Bye. I have lots of money or I probably wouldn't. Why you grab that me dog go? What a gorgeous tree. I wonder how old it is. Didn't the wedding teach you people anything? Nobody is coming here to help us. We have to help ourselves. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my uncle Syrian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? I heard there is trouble. Can I help? You shouldn't be here, Dwarf. Your kind don't leave the market district. Wait. Soros told me about you. You're the one who freed him from the dungeons. These foreigners say they're here masks. to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my uncle Syrian, and Valendrian? Slow down and tell me what's happening here. These foreigners have taken dozens of elves into that house over the last few weeks, and none of them have been seen again. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. What's a Hiren? He's... He's the elder, the person who guides us. Maybe that doesn't mean anything to you, but it's important to us. That's an assumption. I can go take a look inside the hospice. They won't just let you in. Maybe there's another way inside. Well, there is another entrance in the alley. There's no crowd watching, no mages, and only one guard. You can try. Those guards mean business. All right, all right, I'll do that later. But first, there's people to talk to over here. Sir Otto. Is someone there? 
Make us blessing to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. If those cards went business, they wouldn't have just one. Who are you? It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Sir Otto. I am a Templar. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malefica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. I'm sorry. Don't be. Many of my brethren died in that battle. What's Templar doing here? We'd heard rumors that there's an enclave of Maleficarum hidden in the alienage. Have you found anything? I have found no evidence of Maleficarum in the alienage. However, there is something else. This place, it's scarred like me. When I came here, I immediately could feel an air of hopelessness. Despair. Another awesome NPC. Yeah, I remember but over him. time, I felt the wrongness runs far deeper than that. What do you mean? I don't know. But the feeling of wrongness never wanes. Could it be the racism? And so I attempt to puzzle <laughs> it out. I don't suppose I could impose upon you. Sounds like my hometown. Exactly. There's literal segregation. We don't like elves, so you go stay over there by yourselves away from us. <clears throat> uh, I'll gladly help. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me, and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. Mm, what should I look for? I don't know. I have a feeling that there is something to be found, though. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make her watch over you, child. Okay. Huh. Let me look around for the suspicious things. Check their houses out before I go to the side of the place. Oh god. Huh. <sighs> Check out this dude's house. Steal his stuff. One. Yes. The house has eyes, but Grandma calls. That was weird. Found a feral dog. Looks like he's close to going rabid. Okay. There she is! Now, no crowding. Let the good sir breathe. There are a lot of unfortunates in the alienage, sir. Many uh, veterans, orphans, the diseased, and sad tales of all sorts. I still don't have my parents. Yes, sir. 
And poor Oli still doesn't have his parents. <laughs> Anything you can spare would be appreciated. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't drink yet. Holy... Oh, I still don't have my parents. Yes, yes, that is how death works. Oh my goodness. I totally forgot how ridiculous this part gets. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not giving you anything more. Ah, well, I figured it wouldn't last. Thank you for what you've done. The rest of you lot, the good sir isn't handing out any more monies. Aww. <laughs> what do you mean the captions above their heads? Oh, fuck. No, I didn't. the corpse of a rabid dog. It looks like he was skewered with a spear. Nobody has cleaned up the body and it appears to have been dead for some time. This game sucks. Serious houses here. Oh, that's just where huh. I was. Wasn't it? Hey, Lucas! I'll give you a shout-out. One second. One second. One second. Were the captions above their heads funny casual? Subs for ya, my friend. Where are you at? <laughs> That's funny. If you do, there's a funny bit. Oh, man. I should've. Oh, well. Too late now! Time to go to the side. Well, for no, time to go talk to Sir Otto. How's it going today, Lucas? If I already asked that, I apologize. I'm very tired today, as I am every day. I was supposed to screen screenshot Discord. Sweet. Speaking of, join our Discord you if you haven't already. It's fun. Uh, I know what you have. I wish Dragon Age could window. Shows and movies is not probably where you put it. Oh, that avatar. Okay. I'll watch for that later. Good, you know the usual weekend was chill, so that's good. How's your Monday going? I mean, it's a Monday. <laughs> uh, I slept in though, so that's nice. Get to sleep in. Very tired though. Uh, and then I basically just woke up, got ready for stream, and started streaming. So I haven't done a whole lot today. It's been fun so far. <laughs> Definitely could be a lot worse on a Monday. <clears throat> There's a dead rabbit dog in the alley. One of the dogs went feral. I'll start with that. Not unprecedented. I have heard of similar problems throughout Denerim. Hmm. That's by the orphanage, right? A sad place. Did you find anything else? Ah, uh, there's a dead rabbit dog in the alley. I'll report that at once. I've heard such afflictions can spread, even from a corpse. I suppose someone may not have known that. One odd thing I am willing to believe, but two is no coincidence. Let's head to the orphanage. Both of your clues were near there. Uh, let's go. Ah, you're running so fast, sir. feeling is intense here. This is the right place. I know not if it's the work of the Maleficarum, but there is definitely evil here. You go first. I will follow.
Oh, reminds me of uh, the house in Waterdeep. Nothing like creepy child orphanages. Ghost dogs. Recently learned how mods work and have been modding the crap out of Knights of the Republic. Very excited to share. Nice. And I'm off. Six hundred to HD is bonkers. Is there a way to make old games like this windowed, <laughs> windowed instead of full screen? Because it makes streaming difficult when you can't tab it in and out easily. Let me tell you. is nice. I mean, I'm almost done this game, so it's not a big deal. But for future, if I ever play an old game again. <laughs> nice. It's a problem. KOTOR will not go full screen. It will only stay in windowed mode. It's slightly annoying, but I'm dealing with it. Yeah, that has its own problems for sure. <laughs> I like the uh, borderless windowed or borderless full screen or whatever. Yeah, borderless windowed because then it's like full screen, but you don't have any borders. Make it look dumb. Quiet now. One, two, barracks run through. Three, four, the kingdoms at war. Eight, nine, and now you die. <laughs> no, thank you. Now, now, let's see which one first. Stop. Enough. Uh, Time for a little bloodletting, I see. Ma'am, this is an orphanage. I'll start for the tank. You're taking a lot of damage. Where do I go? Oh, you'll have to do so much better than that. That's a lot of blood. Is it though, Alistair? <laughs> It's ghosts. Is Freddy Krueger somewhere nearby? Stupid little girl nursery rhymes. Right? <sighs> have you seen me play against Freddy in Demo Daylight yet? I don't think you have. Because you don't get Freddy so infrequently. 
But part of the thing is when you get in his dream realm in the game, you start he whenever he's close, his terror radius is the girls singing. <laughs> the one, two, Freddy's coming for you. And you're just like, oh god, stop! Who oh, missed that? Mods for KOTOR. Sounds good. I haven't been able to stay interested enough to play it very far. No, Alistair, a lot of blood would be if persistent gore was enabled. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, no one ever plays Freddy except for Fallen Wyvern, and I'm usually playing Survivor with him, not going against him unless we're in customs. Freddy is pretty spooky, especially if you play him right. This. This is the center of it. Blessed be the Maker and his prophet Andraste. Your pathetic Maker is nothing compared to my glory. I command you, show yourself, demon. Hide in the shadows no more. You dare to command me? Let us see if your precious Maker can protect you now, worm! This is pressure. What's with this heat vision? <laughs> right? Um... Venom. Oh. No, not Predator. <laughs> Ray fighting dance demon dance. Are you joking? Surely you're not what I wanted to do. At one time, I considered myself quite the warrior, but you accomplished here what I never it's could. Because I'm awesome. But something still isn't right. I feel there is more to this. Nearby, the building next to us, I can feel it, just on the other side of this wall. Let us go. Freddy vs. Predator had watched that movie. Going. <sighs> Freddy vs. Alien was- or not Freddy vs. Alien, that was Alien vs. Predator. Freddy vs. Jason was pretty great. Freddy vs. Alien I now want to see. <laughs> That'd be all about Predator ripping Freddy's head and spine out. Yep. Yes. No, oh, no. Huh. Blast. Oh. Ah. We must drop. Ah. Right. 
messed up, guys. Predator traps Predator in a nightmare version of a bank just so he can jump camouflage Predator and deliver the one-liner. How about some financial transparency, bitch? Uh. Yes. Oh, this is a lot of. They will. Oh, you'll have to do something <laughs> better than that. Let's <laughs> have at it. Must have the time to die. Predator again. Though the golden city has fallen, I have seen your face and your light. I am your... Save your pedantic chant for your servants, Templar. You have killed my brood. The Maker compels you. Show yourself. The Maker. There is no Maker. There is no golden city. But there are demons. Yes. I hear not your blasphemy. By Andraste and all the divine after her, I order you to face me. You delusional fool. Yes. Oh, oh ho! We have done it again. I feel the darkness receding. I have seen the work of demon before. Some Maleficarum can sort with them, but the Maker must have guided. Ah! And now, you die! Poor that guy. Maker compels you. I feel like that's a similar line from another slightly more well known story about someone trying to drive out a demon. You aren't wrong, Otis. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
God, we're burning. Oh God, this hurts. Oh, that and I'm off. demon had leather boots on them. Found an interesting amulet. Someone in the alien is just probably missing it. And I'm off. You were a demon, why wouldn't you have all the boots on? <laughs> These are the hard hitting questions we ask here. <laughs> oh, so I'm going on the side. To the shadows with me. No, you can't go inside just for a moment. So you might as well walk right back around to the front doors. You shouldn't be out on the streets now anyway. What with the plague? Keeping other people from their families doesn't bother you? Look, this is how things are. I didn't make the blight or the plague or anything. I'm just trying to make a living. How much do they pay you? Not enough to put up with all these questions. What do you want? Persuade, would you let me in the house for six sovereigns? Six. Uh, sure. I never saw you, and you never saw me. Brabin. Sorry, sad pictures being sent to me make me happy, but also sad. Video games. Be beggar. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for putting that in the Discord, uh, casual. <clears throat> I used a key. Whoever is making us all shiny needs to stop, because I think we're drawing attention. We're just like blasting light out of our bodies. Why won't it let me? Oh, dual weapons aren't equipped. That's why. Uh, no. I don't know at which point I didn't equip dual weapons, but okay. There we go.
I found a key wrapped in a note that seems to indicate something about a shipment of elves. The key is a cheap one and looks like to belong to an apartment here in the slums. Perhaps Shiani would know more. Help us, please! We're not sick! Let us out of here! I'm getting you out of here. It opens cages. Thank you, friend. Where's Valendrian? They took him away already. Through the back alley. We don't know where exactly. You should get out of here. You don't have to say that twice. Bye. Not one of the elves you've seen in the hospice is sick. They've been taken away for some other reason. Perhaps you should tell Shiani about this. I wonder what the Tevinter mages could want with elves. Tevinter sucks, man. <laughs> Everywhere in Dragon Age sucks. And I'm off. Turn Chanter's robes. All right. Maybe Wynn might finally get some good robes. Wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, nothing to go with this. So another one. Because it's better. What happened? Some of the elves ran out, but I didn't recognize any of them. Where are all the others? Found this note. Let me see that. What does this even mean? They can't be shipping people, can they? Shipping them where? Have you seen them bring anything out of the hospice? No. People go in, but they don't come out. They aren't shipping anything out of there that we've seen. They could be moving through the back alleys. There are all sorts of buildings back there. They could be using one as some sort of warehouse, staging area. I'll say I'll take a look. If you find any more information, please let me know. I refuse to accept that they're all simply gone. Alright, 
we should take a brief moment for a break before I go do this any further just to walk around and whatnot. I shall be right back.